Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Dom, aka KT2, coming back to you guys again for another video. So what I'm gonna talk about today is females or women in combat arms. And it's just basically, just a couple of thoughts that I was thinking about. And it's something that's crossed my mind. It's a video that I've actually had done on my little list of things to do, but I never actually got a chance to actually get it done. So, uh, from what I know, you know, women are now passing ranger school. I think we're up to like 12 or 14 and you know that's a course that men have you know men can't pass and not to be sexist but usually men have better PT scores but ironically the best woman the the best rucker that I know is a woman you know uh, it's just actually ironic. Uh, rucking is, if you don't know what rucking is, it's when you have a, a ruck on your back and you're walking or run walking a, at a very fast pace. So I think there's like a little debate as to if women can keep up with men. I think recently now, uh, women can now they can be force branched. This is just coming from an officer's point of view. Women can now be force branched into uh, infantry, you know, at OCS at least. I know women can now be force branched into infantry and armor. They're, they no longer can, you know, evade it. And I have not met a woman. I've seen it, of course, I've seen it online, but I have not met a woman that has really, like, undoubtedly wanted to go combat arms. And I'm not talking about FA, I'm talking about infantry armor type combat arms. I guess FA does kind of count, but um, women can get force branched into that. But those, those, the typical combat arms I think people think about is infantry and then armor type stuff. Armor meaning like tankers and calf scouts. Um, I've not met a woman that's wanted to do that, that's really wanted to get down. Most women that I meet in the army, they want to do something a little softer, and there's nothing wrong with that, because there's tons of men that want to do stuff soft. I mean, I'm not in the hardest branch out there either. Um, so, I think, I think it's fine, you know? I think it's fine that women um, want to go into combat arms and do things combat arms-wise, but I just don't know if that's something that all women really wanted. I don't know if they really wanted to be able to go into there, but I know uh, to my ignorance, I mean to my, <laughs> could be to my ignorance and to my knowledge that women were fighting for um, equal representation in the army to be able to do the same stuff men can do, right? And so it's kind of like they got it and then it's kind of like a lot of them really didn't want that. But I'm not sure, and that's why I'm open to discussion. If, if, if anybody has any, has any other views or has any more knowledge on it, or is a woman that actually wanted to branch combat arms, um, I think you're, definitely women are given the opportunity, and now that it's open, we're looking, and I'm pretty sure the Army's looking for more representation from women in these infantry and in these armor-type units, because you know the Army's all about diversity. Um, Army's all about diversity. Well, not all about diversity, but they, they want to move towards diversity. They want to diversify. They want equal representation from everybody, you know? So, just a thought. Um, really, just a thought. I, uh, like I said, I think this is good. Um, but over, there was uh, something I was thinking about, right? So say you're on the battlefield, right? No, this is like PT standards, right? Think, of, think about like PT standards. Right now, we know that there is two different standards, right? For men and women, right? A, women, a woman could run, I don't know, 13 something and it'd be max. But a man can't run 13 something and it'd be max. A man will have to go below 13 something to be max, right? So. What if you're on the battlefield, right? What if you're on the battlefield? What if you're down there in the dirt? Um, will the enemy say, hey, that's a woman. Let's slow down our chase. 
that was a funny thing I was thinking about, right, for a second. Hey, that, that's a woman. Well, let's, let's slow down our chase. If it's a man, let's go full speed. If it's a woman, let's slow down our chase. But no, that's actually not the right way to approach this because I've seen plenty of women run faster. Well, I'm not saying plenty, but I've seen women. I've seen some women run um, under 13 with me in a two mile and that's rolling. So I think it's very possible. I think it's very, very possible for women to do well in combat arms if that's what they really wanna do. I think it's what they really wanna do. I think that they should be tested on the men's scale to do it. They should have to score heavy on the OPAT and then start being tested on the men's scale. Because the enemy's not gonna be like, hey, that's a woman, let's slow down. But that's just my opinion. And I could be speaking out of ignorance. But I'm open to discussion. Um, open to anybody else's point of view. Like I said, it's just like really more of an opinionated video. If anybody has anything different or like to say, uh, I'd love to hear it. So then again, to close off what I'm saying, I think women can do just fine in combat arms. But I, be I believe that it's something that they really have to want to do because it's not, it's typically a more physical type of event and women can get just as physical run and be just as strong as men, but they have to really start striving towards it early. Anyway, um, any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you guys can hit me up on Snapchat at KLOP95 and Instagram at KIDTHNDR2. And like I always like to say at the end of all my videos, don't live the same year 75, 80, 85, 90 times and then try and call it a life. My name is Dominique, aka Mr. Kid Thunder 2, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace.